At the Saban Research Institute of Children's Hospital Los Angeles, Dr. Timothy Trish and his team are searching for an alternative to chemotherapy, one that's effective in destroying cancer cells, but without the drawbacks of most conventional treatments. And one of the big frustrations is almost every drug you deal with has limitations because you can't give any more drug without wiping out normal tissue. So unfortunately, you're left with maybe not a complete cure in many cases. The toxic side effects of chemotherapy are often difficult for patients and families to live with. One solution could lie in an emerging technology that sounds like it's straight out of science fiction. It's called nanotechnology. And in this laboratory, Dr. Trish's team is working with tiny particles, nanoparticles, that are 1,000 times smaller than a human hair. They're trying to customize them to carry a killer dose of chemotherapy directly into the cancer cells. The concept is simple enough. A nanoparticle is a minute hollow ball. Inside it are chemotherapy drugs, and on the outside, a textured surface designed to bond exclusively with the surface of the tumor cells. If the research is successful, patients will one day be injected with nanoparticles, which will then hunt down cancer wherever they find it in the body. That's the theory. In practice, it's not quite as simple. We've been tied up with developing the technology to customize the surface of the nanoparticles so they will go only to the tumor cells and not elsewhere, and we can specify what's on the surface of the particles to match up with the surface of the tumor cells. And we thought when we started that would be simple, but you know, almost two years later now, we now know it wasn't so simple. Chemical reactions are used to customize the surface of the nanoparticles. In a painstaking process of trial and error, the researchers hope to attach specially shaped proteins which will stick to tumor cells like Velcro. Dr. Trish believes he may be close to perfecting a new set of tools for achieving this almost impossible task. We had to create a whole new chemistry to make this work, right? And so this is the proof of an entirely novel new way of customizing the surface of the particles so we can put what we want on there any way we want it. If this batch works like we think it's going to, this is really a major uh, you know, stepping stone towards what we're trying to accomplish. This latest batch of nanoparticles is treated with transferrin, a naturally occurring protein that delivers iron to cells. By staining the nanoparticles with a fluorescent dye, Dr. Trish is able to track their progress as they come into contact with tumor cells. The result is encouraging. The newly customized nanoparticles seem to be targeting the cancer with deadly accuracy. So the left-hand side here are the untargeted particles, the right side are the targeted particles. Uh, here you see the red dots which represent clumps of the nanoparticles just floating around and the blue represent the tumor cell. And there's no real association between the two because the particles were not targeted. Here you put the targeting agent called transferrin on the surface of the nanoparticles and you see a huge difference. All of the red particles are now associated with the tumor cells alone. There is still much work to be done before patients can be treated with nanoparticles. But Dr. Trish and his colleagues at Children's Hospital Los Angeles believe that this exciting technology has the potential to fundamentally transform the way we treat this horrific disease. I think all of us working in this nanotechnology field really do believe that this could be a generational leap forward in terms of what we're all trying to accomplish. And that specifically is treatment with the intent to cure.